C energy vibration reading for um, the Libran Sun Moon and Rising. It is the first week of April 2018. The week begins from the second until the eighth. So I want to say to you guys, <laughs> something is happening for you guys because um, um, three two cards just fell out. So I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful support please remember to listen to your monthly reading because there's a lot of messages I'm seeing a lot of messages that I said in the monthly readings coming back in this weekly reading so hope not for the awareness and I'm using the deck of the psychic deck and I love this deck It's just one of my favorite decks um, this week uh, the energy is fire triumphant um, and the zodiac energy is also fire so be aware there are two energies that fall out for someone out there if you're looking for partnership and alliances people to work with people to um, do business with they're going to be coming in in this week is as if the universal because it's color pass and it says um, partnership and alliances so if you're looking for business partners and that sort of a thing or people to work with or you're looking for new work it's going to be happening for you um, the energy that fell out and it fell out in a reverse form you have the energy of mental conflict so a lot of you are going to be getting rid of your mental conflict so mental conflicts is the time when there's so many things going through your head and you're like oh can you please stop and that sort of a thing that means that negativity energies or people are sending negative energies to you because they're this is what people are thinking because people don't understand how powerful their thoughts are but what they don't understand is that if you wish someone um, something bad it's gonna happen to you so most people that said oh my god I don't know why this is happening to me and that's happening to you is because some of you have wished bad things on people um, through your mental thought but in this week your mental thought is going to be clear because it's in the reverse form so this is good so these are two energies that came out um, for some people out there whoever out there that need partnerships and alliance and for whoever out there that was going through a worrisome period it's going to be okay on Monday let's see what we have for you Librans we have uh, um, the intuition the intuition this is the energy of the eye princess the intuition comes in um, a lot of stuff and that's why the mental is now in calm um, a lot of stuff you're going to be understanding a lot of situation that has played out Tuesday you have the energy of inner strength another major arcana this is really finding the true inner strength so you have water in Monday and Tuesday you have fire you're finding the inner strength within to move forward and then on Wednesday we have another um, water energy and this is the energy of the hangman this is a positive because it says sacrifice so whenever the energy of the sac the hangman is that you are looking for inner guidance you know you're finding the inner strength and looking for inner guidance call upon your angels and guys and say look if there are angels and guys I need help with this and that and that okay and then you're going to see that your mental this is why your mental anguish is going to be in the reverse Thursday is a good day the energy of the Empress comes up the fertility um, for a lot of people be careful on, on Thursday because if you were trying to get pregnant it's a fertile time check um, the your fertile t um, calendars because this is a good day to get pregnant okay this is a positive energy and I love this deck it's by Holland what's his name Holland and he is so good I love the positive energy that comes out from this deck and for some people you're materialistic if you need uh, money to pay your bills and that sort of a thing it's going to be coming to you so you have a lot of major arcana you have all major arcana you have water you have fire you have water and you have hurt so I'm gonna be looking and asking the questions um, to these but we're going to look at Friday to see what is happening on Friday. You have materialistic harvest. This seems to be coming up for a lot of you air signs. So um, if you need financial help, this is going to be coming in on Friday. It's going to be a good day for you. On Saturday, 
you have, I don't know, I, I honestly don't know because you're deliverance. So you have been worried about your financial situation and it's showing you that it's going to be okay. From, from Thursday going on to Friday, it's going to be okay. On Sunday, you need to be careful on Sunday. There's deception, okay? Deception and envy on Sunday. Be aware and be careful. There's deception and envy, and it's in the upright position. So be aware of it. When deception and envy comes up, be aware of it. Okay, so Sunday, whatever it is going to happen, there's going to be some deception and envy. Let's see what the intuition that I, Princess, is trying to say on Mondays for you guys. Okay, oh, the Queen of Wands. <laughs> be aware of this queen of wands it's like as if the universe is saying to you think about who is a taurus Virgo, or uh, no nope it's not a taurus it is um an, an aries leo or a sagittarian be aware of who is this aries leo and sagittarians person the universe the eye princess your guides is awakening you and letting you know something about this lady in a sprint you have to deal with the energy of the um, ego this is why you know there are people or situations around you that is really pushing you and you need to find the inner strength and it could be that this lady who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius is pushing this situation so be aware because it's an Aries person or a Sagittarius person for some people it's going to be an Aries person for some people it's going to be a Sagittarius person so be aware of this okay then we have you're going to be victorious over this so whoever this person is you're going to be very victorious over it because it's the energy of the week and it is the energy of you sacrificing something and it's going to be victorious and successful over it let's see what is happening for the fertility you have the energy of uh, um, the seven this is always the seven of ones i don't have my glasses on but i know it's the seven of and whatever is your financial needs because it's obviously because the energy of the fertility comes up so it's an earth energy that is you know that is the mother of nurturing the mother of providing for people your materialistic needs and whatever the situation that is coming up with your materialistic needs um, you're thinking about it on Thursday and not to worry about it because on Friday good news is coming in on Friday about money coming to you okay and on Saturday you're gonna be feeling good about this because you're gonna think oh, okay I can now breathe a little bit because um, the money is coming in what you need to look for and I'm getting the the, the um, the intuition guidance to take three cards for this deception and envy deception and envy it's deception and envy there is deception and envy that is coming in okay I'm gonna put my glasses on for this and this deception and envy that is coming in is with the nine of cups your wishes and dreams a seven of cups new opportunities are going to be coming for you and you're the page of Pentacles okay deception and envy this deception and envy that is coming up is that the energy of the nine of course is that you know the universe is orchestrating that your wishes and dreams comes out and new opportunities are going to be opening up and new doors of opportunities is all going to be open up but what is also transpiring is that the message of the money the Pentacles whenever the uh, page of Pentacles comes up it has to do with uh, money that is supposed to come in to you but there is a deception and envy is so it says money was supposed to be come to you but someone is trying to block this money or hold this money off from coming to you because you know and you you know you liberals need to understand what is transpiring you have done this to someone else and that's why it's happening to you now and you're going to say yeah but I I, I, um, I I've never done that to anyone you need to think because you liberals always like to cut through and um, whatever you have done you have done this to someone else and the universe is kind of taunting this um, and that's why there is so much deception and envy it's as if 
um, you sold out someone, especially when you sold out someone, especially when you give information over someone or, uh, yeah, and you sold out someone, the universe come back to make you feel this, to make you feel how that person feel. Um, so everything that you do now is actually, is coming back to you. So you have to be, and this is deception and envy. You could be doing this to someone else, trying to block the luck of someone else. Stop it because someone else is going to block your luck. And this is what is happening. This is the karmatic situation that is happening. So whoever you are, okay, because you have to be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Most of you are going to be dealing with an Aries and most of you are going to be dealing with a Sagittarius. And she is doing something and your psychic is saying to you, be careful of her because she's standing with the energy of the devil. So it could be an Aries or a Sagittarian. She's standing with the energy of the devil. So she could be um, working with the darkness. So be careful because she has a situation. So it's as if, if you have, uh, let's say, um, you know, you have a girlfriend and that sort of a thing. You never know what's in the heart of someone or, you know, people see you or, you know, in a situation and you never know, sorry, how you got in the situation. And it could be them, they, which is working on a negative side. And sometimes people will let you be aware and you're saying, no, but I don't think she would be doing that. You never, never know what people do. I'm going to take a sip. You really, really never know what people do. Okay. So be aware of this deception and envy. Hateful people. It's as if this person, whoever, it can be a king or a queen. Okay. It could be a man or, but this person is over the age of 40 that is doing this. It's as if they want their, so if you find out that your financial situation has been blocked or that sort of a thing, or the flow of your financial situation, call upon the universal guidance. And here I am working with a, with a deck. You can use these energies. Okay. This is say, go by the book, going by the book. So whatever is transpiring, you need to understand that you need to go by the book. Whatever is happening, you need to go by the book. You can't skip certain things. You need to go by the book. Okay. It's as if you want something to happen, but before the thing can happen, you need to take certain procedures in your life. And this is what is saying. You need to go by the book. Um, the last energies I have for you moving out of this week, it is saying count your blessings. And this is what I say to people, count your blessings. If somebody helped you say, thank you very much. I'm so grateful for this help. If, um, someone, um, you know, try to protect you in something, say, thank you very much. It is all time. Say, you know, thank you for this day. I, you know, I, I will find something to feed my kids or, Thank you for this day because I know the universe is going to provide um, this or that, whatever it is. Say always thank you. And you're going to see that by saying thank you, it, you manifest things in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say to you, um, thank you for being here. Please like, share these videos, subscribe. And namaste until next week. Yeah.